I'm Rachel Brooks, and you are here at Percy's Playground, boarding and training facility. Okay, Rachel, so obviously, what do you have going on here at Percy's Playground? We have all kinds of great stuff going on here. Uh, we primarily focus on boarding, and I also do training. Um, so we have those two things that keep us pretty busy. So tell me a little about, I saw when I came in, and there was a poster that said enrichment. Yeah. Tell me about enrichment. What, what puts you apart from everybody else? Thank you for asking that. Um, most daycare facilities, what they do is they do play groups, okay? Which is one type of enrichment, socialization aspect of enrichment. We don't actually do play groups here. We focus on all the other types of enrichment. So we're talking about environmental, sensory, habitat, behavioral, relationship, food, which dogs like a lot, right? So we focus on all the other different types of things that dogs need in addition to socialization. So we like to focus on those instead. Okay, so I have a dog who has an issue. What am I gonna do about it? Well, you're gonna call us and we're gonna help you fix it. So what we do here for training is completely positive reinforcement. Our facility is force-free, pain-free, fear-free, meaning that we don't do any rough handling with the dogs. We allow dogs to have choices on what they wanna do or what they don't wanna do. So they don't only have one opportunity to do one thing, i.e. play with dogs. Maybe they wanna dig or be in the sandbox or maybe they wanna do a puzzle or maybe they just wanna hang out and get pets. You know, I mean, it just kind of depends on whatever they want to do. As far as formal training, um, anybody can come in and decide on what it is that they want to do with their dogs, what their goals are. So we're going to do positive reinforcement. And what that means, I mean, maybe I should say what it doesn't mean, but what it doesn't mean is we don't use any of the collars, the shock collars, the prong collars, um, any leash jerks or knees to the chest or any of those types of things. We're only allowing dogs choices and rewarding the behaviors that we want instead of punishing the ones that we don't. So I heard the word, we're going to help you, we're going to train you. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? I need training! <laughs> so um, a lot of boarding facilities offer board and train, where you might drop, drop your dog off for a couple of weeks and they will train them. Typically that's with a shock collar. Um, and then they turn it over to you and show you how to use that. Our focus is taking a little bit longer than that, but what we want to do is show you how to better communicate with your dog. What are the dog's needs? So we try to help you think more like a dog instead of us trying to make dogs think more like humans. We actually try to step back for a second and say, what are your dog's needs? What is your dog really trying to accomplish by jumping on you or digging in your garden or doing all of these things that we don't want doggies to do? How can we help them appropriately greet guests? It's all about framing the question. I want my dog to stop jumping on everybody. Okay, very good. Well, let's reframe that because the dog wants to greet. So how about we just say, how do I get my dog to greet guests appropriately? Instead of how do I get my dog to stop doing something? So that way we're getting what you want, but we're also helping the dog fulfill his needs as well. Give me the so, tour. This is our lobby. This is our meet and greet room. We do a lot of meet and greets with our clients here. They come in for about 10 minutes. We meet us. They, uh, we meet them. They meet us. Sniff, sniff. Feed a little food. And it's like, oh, this is a great place to be. So we do all that here. And then I also use this for training and for play on inclement weather days. All right. And then obviously our reception area. And of course we have multiple barriers in case little doggies uh, Love that. tend to maybe get out. They usually don't. <laughs> so we've got a little room over here that I use for consults, but we also have a futon set up um, because sometimes we've spent the night here. If the weather's bad, we want to make sure that we're here for the dogs. So. That gives us a little uh, breathing room, and sometimes when our doggies come in for the day, they like to sit in there too. Sweet. And of course, we have a bathroom for the humans because we don't go outside, right? <laughs> and we have five suites. Uh, this is our animal friend suite, equipped with a TV as well, and all the suites are themed. Oh, wow. We just put all new floors in the suites. Oh. And then this is our lake house suite, the same as the Animal Friends, but themed a little bit differently, and it has a TV as well. Love it. Any particular program they like to watch over the others? You know, we don't have cable, we just got antenna, so a lot <laughs> of court TV, um, news, things like this, grit TV, laugh TV, we try to keep it on laugh TV. Uh, Doggy Central, this is kind of where our storage is for our, all of our kind of fun stuff, like our 
our puzzles, and we have these cool things called snuffle mats that help them use their senses to smell and sniff stuff out. Blankets, towels, treats, food, all that kind of fun stuff. And we have a fridge in case anybody needs us to keep anything cold. Um, this is also an indoor playroom for inclement weather, and I also use this a lot for my training classes and for private lessons. This is our villa. This actually has a bedroom and a living room. This is our smallest indoor suite. Ah, love it. A little small, little spot. Yep, and there's actually another room back there. Oh, really? Yeah. Look at that. Love it. This is our celestial suite. Love it. It's kind of fun, kind of themed it. that way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then back here, of course, we have our biggest suite, which is our penthouse. So you can see multiple dogs from the same family can stay together most oftentimes. Yeah. So they've got plenty of room to do that. I love it. Fire biggest roll. bed, biggest TV in this room, biggest picture window, right? <laughs> nice. Big, big, big. Right. <laughs> These are really spacious rooms. We've got our little storage room here. All right. And then our back room, we're probably gonna put two more suites here. This is kind of still under construction, of course. It's just okay. my husband and myself, so right. we're trying to got it. do all that. Oh, look, it's playtime. <laughs> it is. Wow. And this yard is about 3,300 square feet. We have about 10,000 square feet uh, safely fenced in for the dogs and separated into three areas. So we've got this area here, and you can kind of see the patios that we have. We have seven bunks, and those bunks are 60 square feet plus a 100 square foot patio. So all together, those are our biggest spaces. Everything's fenced in and double fenced, so we've got that extra barrier, kind of like at the dog park where you have the double gates, double mm -hmm. fences. And there's Cheyenne, she's out there playing with Ryan. Make sure I close these doors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you playing? Are you playing with Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That's Cheyenne. Cheyenne's come every week for play day for the last year. Love we have it. several doggies that... It's going to be loud in here. Okay. Better eat both. Oh, we can do exit baths for doggies that come in and want a bath before they go home. It includes a nail trim, bath, uh, brush out, and a blow dry. Nice. Of course, I've got signature purple tub. Everything's got to be purple. Right? Of course, I splurged on that. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And this is our what we call our bunk house. My cub lab. You are a very nice boy. Hey, baby. <laughs> So we've got three bunks here, and Shady just got here for about a week. Okay. Is it with us? Nice. Hi, a baby. Of, uh... Hi, sweet pea. <laughs> She's got access to outside. That's nice. Yeah. Right outside. She wants right to go outside. out. Nice. Uh, laundry area, storage area. Hi, Shadow. Shadow's another one of our frequent flyers. Comes every week. Love it. These guys are coming in here soon. I gotta clean this one he checked out. And of course, Cheyenne's outside with Ryan. And then it kind of gives you a good idea out back here to see the size of the patio. Yeah. yeah. And we've got uh, privacy barriers. Depending on who's boarding next to each other, we tend to put those down. So everybody has their own single little run they there. They do. A hundred square foot little patio. So Love nice it. And big. Now, this is an area, too, you use in? We do. A little um, bit, this at, little area right here? Yep. Uh, okay. For potty time at night, usually. Got it. Okay. Let's yeah. go Let's go say hi to her. Let's go say hi to Cheyenne. Yeah. Hi, Cheyenne. Are you playing hey, baby. ball? Hey, baby. How you doing? Are you playing ball? Hi. Hi. So, you're, you're what a tough job, right? Yeah. Seriously. It's rough. It's rough. Where'd she go? Oh, go get it. She see it? She didn't see it. She she lost it. <laughs> Love it. What a tough day at work. Tough day at work. All right. Look at all these toys they have. So this is part of your agility then. All the uh, all the. Uh, so yeah, we've nice. Got the for the agility. We've got the dexterity ladder, the, yeah. uh, the sandbox, um, the 
teeter. Love it. Yeah, we've got all kinds of stuff it. and all kinds of different toys, different size balls, you know, whatever, tug toys, frisbees, all kinds of stuff. That the so I, you, you basically do. wear them out so they'll go to sleep, right? They stay happy. They stay happy. Good boy. I love it. Well, so I have been impressed. We've been walking around today and I am impressed with the building and all that you guys have done together. Thank you. I, mean, uh, I want to put my dog now with you. <laughs> I want to move in. I've had people ask, can I stay here too? The rooms are big enough. <laughs> That's the other thing about our facility that I meant to point out is a lot of times when we do, um, there's a lot of high volume in some of the bigger places. We have very uh, small, intimate facility so and our spaces are very large so any time that a dog is spending in his space is nice because our smallest space is 65 square feet whereas industry standard right now is about four by four which is about 16 square feet and we don't do any uh, cage boarding also and our rooms have TVs so we're kind of fun <laughs> You should call us whether you want to bring your doggy in for a day stay. We also do, it's not traditional daycare where your dog's going to be playing with other dogs, but we take the dogs out several times a day and we're always doing enrichment activities with them, different types of things, figuring out what your dog might learn or like to do. People oftentimes get surprised. I didn't know my dog liked frisbee or I didn't know my dog could fetch, we, you know, so, uh, or do agility and all these types of things. So it's really kind of fun to bring your dog for a day stay, for overnights. And if you're having any issues with your dog or you just want to get a jump start on their training, we can help with any kind of issues that you might be having.